Let's first look at the definition of the dual problem of a general linear programming problem that's a minimization problem. So here, A is M by N, M rows and columns. The Jth column is denoted by capital AJ and appears in the dual. So given this problem, P, up here, and what are these steps? Well, these basically are the M constraints that we have. And so these i's, these sets i greater than or equal to, i less than or equal to, i equal, these sets form a partition of the set 1 up to m. And here down here, glf, well, we have n variables. glf form a partition of the set 1 up to n. And that's a notation. Now, there's a duality theorem for this pair of linear programming problems. Now, these y variables in the dual basically tell us how to take a linear combination of the constraints in the primal problem, P, to give us an inequality that lower bounds the objective function value of any x that satisfies the constraints in P. What we can say immediately is, if x is feasible for P and y star is feasible for B, then y star transpose b is a lower bound for the objective function value of x star. And this is often called the weak duality theorem for linear programming. The duality theorem that we have been talking about, often called the strong duality, says that if p has an optimal solution, then b also has an optimal solution. There is a corollary that we can obtain from the strong duality theorem. We can actually show as well that if B has an optimal solution, then P also has an optimal solution. And of course, once we know P has an optimal solution, the two optimal values are going to be equal by the duality theorem. So to prove that result, to prove that B having optimal solution implies P having optimal solution, basically you rewrite B, convert it to a minimization problem first, and then apply the duality theorem for that problem. And then we'll notice that the dual of the converted problem is equivalent to the primal problem P up here. So the details are in the notes, and we are not going to uh, do this in the video. So recall that every linear programming problem is infeasible, unbounded, or has an optimal solution. We are now going to look at the possibilities for the pair. The duality theorem says if P has an optimal solution, then dual has optimal solution. So that means the dual cannot be unbounded and infeasible. So this is possible, but these are impossible. Okay, check mark means possible. Of course, this check mark here is not just possible, it is always true. But X is impossible. Again, as I mentioned before, you can also prove the duality theorem with respect to the dual. If the dual has optimal solution, then P also has an optimal solution. So these two are impossible. Now, if P is unbounded, can P be unbounded? Unbounded means that it's feasible. Not only feasible, you can find a sequence of solutions that are feasible with arbitrary negative objective function value because P is a minimization problem. But for any feasible solution for P, the objective function value is a bound for the objective function value for D. So if D is unbounded, well, then we cannot have any feasible solution for P. And the same reasoning will tell us that if P is unbounded, then there cannot possibly be any feasible solution for D. The remaining question is, is it possible for both the primal problem and the dual problem to be infeasible? And I encourage you to think a bit about it. See if you can answer this question yourself.